Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. I am sharing a Macari find and it is from Byredo. And I'm really excited because this is a brand that I wanted to try in 2024. So if you wanna just hang out and get ready, do a quick eye look. So I have a palette and I have a lippy. Keep watching this video, let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So how are you? I'm doing great. It's Tuesday and it was very nice to have a day off yesterday. I was very, very productive y'all and I'm, I'm so proud. So anyway, yeah, don't have a whole lot of time, but how did I end up with this palette? Well, I had purchased a Tom Ford quad on Macari. A lot of times when I'm looking at luxury beauty, I will check Macari first just because you know, a lot of things need to be rehomed and I really love looking and seeing what's on there. A lot of stuff is in great condition. I've only had one issue on Macari where I thought I was purchasing Mothership One Subliminal and it was a bootleg version and it was so tiny. It was like this big. I was like, what is this? It was some, I don't know what it was, but there was no problem with Macari sending it back. I've also had an issue where I sold someone some single shadows. They were packed up really nicely, labeled fragile, everything, but they totally got shattered. So I ended up, they ended up giving me half my money back and giving the um, purchaser their money back, all their full refund. So I haven't had any issues. I had some credits. It, I don't know what the credits were for. It wasn't a balance. It was credits. And I thought that Peach Dawn quad from Tom Ford was really cute. So I did purchase that, but the seller said they shipped it. I don't know what happened, but after a certain amount of time, I could cancel it. That's what I did. And I ended up grabbing this Byredo palette and the lipstick. And I think I paid $30. And I think from my money, I paid $35 total. Now I know these nugget palettes are $75. So this was brand new. And then uh, this is called Commuter. I don't know anything about the shadows, the formula or anything. All I do know is everyone really loved the Kalahari flower palette and the Remembrance palette. I don't know if these are a different formula. Look at how they come in this little bag, very cute. But we're just gonna put together a look and I thought this would be a good day to use this palette because I'm wearing this blue shirt. So I wanted to go kind of neutral. And here's what it looks like. It looks like a, a stone. And then on the back, we have the colors. I don't think they have any names, just one, two, three, four, five. And this is called the Self Illusion Palette. It does have a 12 month shelf life. And here's what the palette looks like. Zoom in just a tad. So you see we got some cool colors and some warm colors. So there's some cool colors and some warm colors. Uh, they all appear to be shimmers. So we're gonna um, swatch that really quick so I can see where I want this look to go. And I'm gonna do the lipstick first. That will also help me determine my eye look. So I'm just gonna go this way. So this is a gray uh, kind of satin shimmer. And we have another gray that's a bit brighter might be a bit more metallic looking. Maybe not, it might just be the tone. We have a silver shade here, and we have a gold, and lastly we have a brown. So this is Self Illusion, just did one swatch. So we might be able to build these up a little bit, not sure. And the lipstick is in the shade Commuter. And check out this case or this bullet component, whatever you want to call it. And it's like slanted. Oh, y'all can see, see it kind of goes on a slant. So I love that. Um, we're going to actually go in with this first and let me give you a swatch of it. It does have the B on the front for Byredo. Okay, this definitely <laughs> is going to dictate my look. Okay, this lipstick doesn't really go with uh, what I've got on, but that's okay. <laughs> so I could at least share how the lipstick feels don't really smell any scent Ooh, this is going on really nice mm. 
Okay, this does have, this has a little bit of a cosmetic -y scent. Not as bad, but reminded me a little bit of the old KKW lippies and the Tom Ford ones. The old Tom Ford ones that I had. I haven't bought any new lipsticks from Tom Ford in a minute, but it's a cosmetic -y smell. Oh, wait a minute. It tastes a little sweet. A little tart. Okay. I'll see how I feel during the day. Like, does that bother me or not? I don't know. But we do need to get into an eye look. I'm wearing the Pat McGrath primer. I do like this color though. I think it looks really great. See, I have red on my shirt. That's why I wasn't really uh, wanting to wear it. And I put on the Gucci Soft red blush. But if I was really paying attention with my whole outfit, I probably would have used the Intense Plum. I think I would have liked that better. But I don't think this looks bad. Let's do a look. And now we got to figure this out because this lip this is going to be something short and sweet and easy. I definitely know I want to go in with this deep brown. But I don't know where I want to start. If I start with the gold, I'm going to start with the gold. We're just kind of playing around, like seeing what this formula is like. Would it be something that I, you know, want to go for when they come out with the Kalahari or the, not the Kalahari palette, but their new big palettes, just because they're expensive. They're over a hundred dollars. So if this is the same formula, which weigh in, are the big palettes the same formula as the small ones? Let me know. I don't hear too much about these. So I thought it would be cool to try, especially for the price. I don't know about $75 for this, but you know, with these luxury brands, I, you know, Chanel is $68 for a quad, Dior is like the same price for a Quint. Right, we've got a little gold tint there. I don't want to do too much. Ah, oh, this is tough. This is a tough one. I'm gonna go into the brown here on the outer corner. So even though that brown is deep, this seems like it's a buildable formula. The brush I'm using is just a synthetic brush from the brand MSQ, which is on Amazon. So I'm not using any type of fancy brush. I mean, it's really easy to, to blend. I'm not feeling like super moved by this uh, Quint though. I'm just not, but you know, I think it's just, it's not really exciting, but that's like totally fine. It's just gonna be a really chill moment. I think what interests me about this one was just the combo of the warm and the cool, but I do, you know, prefer to have a matte uh, in my uh, arsenal, I guess. So yeah, you can see it's just giving me a little bit of smoke. I, I don't want anything too bold because of the blue sweatshirt. But from here, it just is a neutral, smoky eye. Now I want to go in with one of these grays and I know it's going to be a little odd because the grays are so cool. Um, I'm just not sure. I, maybe this one here. Taking an Angie Hot and Flashy A504 brush. And I'm just putting it on the inner part of the eye. I will zoom in. I really don't know the Byredo aesthetic. You know what I mean? I, it's hard for me to uh, give any input about, you know, why they combine these shadows. But I think it's kind of fun to play around with putting colors together that you normally wouldn't. So I'm just taking that and putting that on the inner corner. And these are like one and dones to me. So I think it looks nice though. And then I wanna go into the more, uh, it reminds me a little of a bluer gray. This isn't gonna give me a sparkly pop or anything. Like this is not that palette, you know? So this would be where I would pull out an indie single or something like that if you really wanted uh, something eye catching. This is gonna be my favorite, but it's definitely a little bit different. 
and I can still see all the colors. I'd love to uh, read up on the description for this one. I just don't have time this morning. Let's go into the under eye. I'm gonna just take, for the under eye, I'm just taking this Glam Light brush and I'm gonna go back into this gray here on the edge. Just making a little shadow underneath. Okay, say hi. Marky's gonna be 13 tomorrow, which is super awesome. Go ahead, you can close it. All right, and then for the inner corner, I'm gonna go into the brightest silver. Now, you know, I did use all five shadows, but you know, I'm not sure if that's the intent with these. But as far as like the shadow and the blending and everything, I think it's great. It's not, might not be super exciting, but I think it worked out nicely. All right, we need a liner. And I want gray. I don't know where my gray liner is, which is, very unfortunate. Um, oh, well, there's Fig. I am going to go try to find my gray liner. I'll be right back. How about this? I'm going to come back with liner and mascara, and then we're going to wrap it up. I'll let you know what I think about Byredo for eyeshadow. All right, you guys, I'm back with the finished look. I actually took my Chanel 134 Lust and put it over top of the Byredo. I just did, I don't like the lip with the look, but now I like the look with this lip and the blush. So we demoed the lip, but I'm not gonna be wearing that throughout the day. All right, here's what we've got. It's just a little chill. It's, it's nothing super exciting, but I, it was very easy to create. Let me know what you think about this look. I don't think the Byredo formula is like super special. I don't think it was bad at all, but there's nothing that really stands out. So. Um, when they come out with their larger palette, would I consider purchasing it if I like the color story? I definitely would. I think if you're looking for like super impactful shimmers, you might be a bit disappointed with this one. So if you don't like like Dior Quince or Chanel, like those type of just easy to blend, like Tom Ford type. And Tom Ford has more sparkle though, a lot more sparkle. But if you don't like those types of brands or those types of eye looks, it's just like blah. I think you would probably want to skip on Byredo, but for something simple and quick and easy that can still can be glammed up or just wear every day, I think this is perfect. I think $75 is huge though. I wouldn't have paid $75 for that and I didn't and I shan't. So that's how I feel, but I'm glad to have tried Byredo. I don't think the lipsticks are anything to write home about, especially if you don't like a cosmetic -y smell. So I'm not sure like, how much I'll be like really checking for Byredo, but it's good that I was able to find that out only spending $35, you know what I mean? So I don't regret the lipstick or the palette at all. And I think the lipstick will come in handy. I just didn't like the color with this outfit. Let me get a quick scent of the day because it is about that time y'all. And uh, let's try out a new one. That way I can speak on it in a video coming, not that one. I got some Dua fragrances. They're, they can be quite interesting. Oh, where are the rest of them? I'm gonna do this one called Cherry Mind Control today. Um, it's an straight day parfum. I can't remember what this is, is supposed to dupe, but that's the one I'm trying out. So I will be doing a video soon. Ooh, oh my God. This, I will say it reminds me of ch like a cherry version Mm, this cool princess. I'm putting princess on too. <laughs> Something about it reminded me of princess, but I'm going to keep this with me throughout the day. Again, this is Cherry Mind Control from Dua. I'll let y'all know what I think like about the strength and all that in that video. All right, y'all, I'm off to work. That's like a cinnamony type cherry. It smells really good. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.